Hi guys, we'll try to find a pre-owned car with the lowest possible mileage. However, low mileage usually means higher price. So what should be the ideal balance between price and mileage and what mileage you should avoid at all costs? Let's first of all agree that we will consider buying only cars with a good maintenance, at least according to manufacturer recommendations. So. We are focused on the mileage that is confirmed with the service history and also the car is well taken care of. And we are going to discuss cars at the age between 5 and 10 years, because it is the most popular range when you are searching for the used car. I bought more than 20 cars for my personal use with a different mileage and different age. And what I am sure about is that the car with the mileage above 200,000 kilometers is absolutely unpredictable. In such case, when the car runs more than 200k, there is no reason to talk about uh, car reliability and all that stuff. It's only about what is left right now from the original condition. And yes, there could be an extremely reliable car. For example, now I own a car with 5.7 Hemi engine. And of course, its resource is much higher than 200k. And you need to be a very specific person to kill this engine until half a million kilometers. But there are a lot of things around the engine and the gearbox reliability. And when the car is more than 200k mileage, then it's just too worn out in all parts. So if you want a car as a daily driver and you don't want to be in a garage all the time, all your free time at least, then usually we should agree that 200,000 kilometers is the maximum mileage that we should consider. However, this figure is only applicable for a really reliable car. So let's go a little bit further and maybe deeper into technologies of the car to change this maximum mileage that you can consider depending on what car do you have. And let's start from the powerful turbocharged engines, those that have more than 100 horsepower from one liter of engine. Of course, these engines differ a lot and they can be less or more reliable, but even very reliable turbocharged engines would have less resource than naturally aspirated engines. So for them, I would say that that the general rule is not to buy them on the mileage above 100,000 kilometers. Maybe for very reliable ones, for example, for nowadays, starting from 2015, 2016, two liter Volkswagen or Audi engine is quite reliable. Also, modern BMW engines also are quite reliable. So there are a lot of examples. And then you can go up to 150 kilometers. But still, I would prefer to buy such car, powerful car, with the mileage less than 100,000 kilometers, because you will need some mileage to go by your own. The next big thing that affects a lot the expected resource and reliability of the car is CVT transmission. And nowadays these transmissions are installed in more than a half of all Japanese modern cars. And according to my experience, and I used to sell a lot of cars with such CVT transmissions, their resource is from from 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Yes, sometimes these transmissions can go up to 200,000 kilometers and even more. If the owner was uh, really good at maintaining the car and he or she just maintained it regularly, changed uh, transmission fluid every 50k, and then it can last for long. But still, it is not as reliable transmission as the classic automatic transmission. So I would say that the general rule about CVT transmission, especially if you don't know how owner maintain the car, then just better go for such cars only with the mileage less than 60, maybe 80,000 kilometers. By the way, guys, please press the like button if you enjoy this video because it supports channel a lot. And one more extremely unreliable gearbox is a dry dual-clutch transmission. In Volkswagen Group it is called DSG. 
And now I'm talking only about dry transmissions that are installed only with low power engines. Beside Volkswagen Group you can find these transmissions also for example in Toyotas. And to be honest I would avoid cars with such transmissions at all costs. But if you're really going to buy them then don't go for the mileage more than 60,000 kilometers. Because these transmissions usually has a resource for up to 100 kilometers. Of course, it is a very general video and there are a lot of exceptions from these rules. But for sure, I wouldn't go for the car as a daily driver with the mileage above 200,000 kilometers. And as for gearboxes I mentioned before, I would, to be honest, avoid them at secondary market at all. But still, if you are going to buy such car, just go for a very low mileage. Please comment below what do you think about the maximum mileage of a car that you should consider buying. And please share your experience. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. Thank you and see you soon or right now if you click one of these two videos. And I hope you will enjoy them as well.